Hi everybody, it's Meg from Books Off the Beaten Path. Sorry I'm kind of slunked down this morning, but I don't have anything to prop my tripod up with, so <laughs> just kind of hopefully in the frame. I wanted to give a review this morning on the book I was asked to review, to read and review, and that is Children's Wartime Adventure Novels. And this is by Jacqueline T. Lynch. And let me tell you, I gave it a five stars. It was just amazing. Look at this. She's got pictures of the cover art all the way through. Now let me tell you what this book is. And this book is a critical look at, and critical sounds mean, it's not really mean, but it's a look at what the children were reading during World War II. And I'm not talking about young children, I'm talking about preteens and teens and what they were reading and everything like that. And you all know my love of Cherry Ames. Well, Cherry Ames is in here along with so many others that I had never even heard of, but I want to know. Like I want to know Ann Bartlett and I want to know Nancy Dale. And I want to know Rex Randall. But what she's done is she's taken all these books and she's roughly summarized them and kind of, and then she puts in, she's got a wicked sense of humor. And then she puts in her own little observations on it about how, oh, if somebody's speaking German, then they must be a spy and everything. She also has a little bit of politics in here um, that I appreciated because it really showed the contrast between our generation, and I mean I'm Gen X, and the millennials and everything like that, and then what she calls the silent generation, which was the generation of children during World War II. Um, you can check out my review on Goodreads. Again, I gave it a five stars. I mean, she put so much effort into this book. It was fascinating. And, you know, I feel very at a loss after just reading Cherry Ames because there were women in here, adventure stories about women in here who were pilots and adventure stories about women in here who were, you know, captured by the Japanese and everything like that. And it's just Anne Bartlett at Bataan, I'm telling you, was when I was reading about that, I was like, oh my God, this was a children's book? But it was, and it talks about Pearl Harbor. And then the boys, man, the boys are facing some rough thing like this one boy. Oh, where is it? I wish I could find the picture, hold on. Hold on, it's talking about training to be in a submarine and how they trained and everything like that to go be in a submarine. And I'm telling you, it just left me breathless. It left me breathless. And I'm going to be using it as a reference book for my collection. And I wanna expand my collection and I wanna find some of these books. And I thought she did a fantastic job. I thought the writing was great. I thought the subject matter was, you know, would be interesting for people, not only who are collectors, but who are just interested in that period of history in World War II. Where is that picture? Oh, here it is. That's them training to be in the submarine. And I'm telling you, it was scary. It was scary. Scoot Bailey of the U.S. Navy. Don't you love that name, Scoot Bailey? But anyway, five stars. Check it out on Goodreads. Buy it. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful book. And Jacqueline, two thumbs up. You did a great job. So give me a like, hit subscribe, have a great Monday, and I will check you later.